also we need to set her bond amount in Beaton's bond amount. Um, the bond amount is spent $100,000. We are here to talk to you. We are here to talk to you about sewage, but just so you know, we do a lot more than sewage. And your building code inspector get an hour backup building code inspector. Um, we've been doing sewage. Pam and I have been been doing sewage for two years. The association was formed originally in January of 2000. We were then the Butler County Student Association, but since then we've jumped outside of our borders and just this year we pulled the two associations for sewage and building together into one that's now called the Institute of Post Association. We also do zoning for water management, that kind of thing. Um, Pam and I, again, have been involved with sewage for too long to count. Until this year, that was all we did was sewage. We're the administrative team. I am a licensed sewage enforcement officer, but I get harassed a lot, so I don't spend enough time in the field. I'm kind of a troubleshooter. Whenever there's a problem, I try to go out and try to keep amongst all of the parties so pretty much it. We, we provide full service. And when I say that, I mean if somebody calls you and has a serious issue or they want to test or they have a problem or their neighbor has a problem or they have questions, you give them our phone number. We say we have full-time service. We are physically in the office three days a week, but we do have 24-7 voice now, and we do check those messages on the days we aren't in the office and someone does the first call. Um, we have four licensed two of the officers, one who is also a solar scientist, and Colleen handles this area up here. She's our We were first in on the totem pole. Again, I go out when there's problems or if there isn't anybody else to do it, then I get the first on. Um, one of our students in Portland Hospital is also an engineer. So I guess what I'm saying to you is we have the whole package. We have the administrative piece, all of the paperwork. The only 
really need to be in peace, figuring out how your ordinances, if you have holy tank ordinances, those kinds of things, how they apply to each situation as people call them. Um, one concern that, that people far from us have is, wow, now people have to drive to the butler? Absolutely not. We do 80% of the applications and the paperwork by either phone, fax, email, regular mail. No need to come to us. We come to you. Um, as far as enforcement goes, that's where things sometimes go south. Or going south, I mean, the regulations are pretty black and white. There is a little room for, for flexibility, but not a lot. Typically, enforcement, the responsibility, well, re responsibility for all students falls on the local municipalities. Um, the payment for enforcement falls on the municipalities. But I always like to say I don't like to spend other people's money. So before we get into a point where it's going to start costing money for enforcement, the issue would always be brought to some of the to decide, okay, is this worth fighting or do we just kind of turn our heads and go to the power work and stuff out? So that being said, I think I'll cover quickly <coughs> the information that you need. So you, uh, you would use your own SEOs? We use, yes. We have four cities and four cities. Again, calling, calling is up here. Another SEO. His name is Todd Fantasky. He is an SEO for Hickory and Harmony Township. Um, he has 45 counties. Um, he's pretty busy sometimes, especially in the summertime. Sometimes it's like seven to ten days and somebody calls him and he gets back to him. He's not really looking for um, another township to take on, but he said that he wouldn't
Yeah. 